Okay, so I want to start off by saying that I'm really enjoying Warhammer 3 and that it's a great game as is. However, there's a few things that I'd like to do to change it, to play it a little bit differently than intended. And the main thing is with the uh, Chaos Rifts. I think they're great, they're a lot of fun, but I just think they happen a little too often um, or the AI tends to succeed in them too often so that it turns it into a foot race that I don't really want to have. I'd, I'd like to enjoy the main campaign a little bit more. So what I want to do is fix that. And there's uh, several ways that we can do that. Now, currently, as of 2.24, um, obviously, there's no mod support. So once mod support is released, this is going to be super easy to do. And if somebody doesn't release a mod to fix this immediately, I probably will um, the day of. It's, it's that easy. Um, but until then, we're going to have to make do with modding our data packs ourselves. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install Rusted Pack File Manager. Okay? Um, Rusted Pack File Manager is easy enough to install. I have a video on that, so you can follow that if you need. Now, once you have that installed, what you want to do is create a uh, duplicate of your data pack file. Notice I have already done that. What you do to do that is you need to go to um, where you have it installed. So for me, that's going to be my PC. It's solid state drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Warhammer 3 data. And we're looking for data.pack. This is the file we're going to be editing right here. And it's good to have a backup in case you cause instability issues. OK. So once you have that, you're going to go to Rusted Pack File Manager. And you are going to go to your preferences. And we need to turn on the ability to edit CA pack files. This is off by default. I have turned it on already. So this enables us to edit the game files, which is normally prevented in Rusted Pack File, just because when you make a mod, usually you don't want to edit game files. You just want to create a mod of those game files. So we need to do that. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to open our pack file. So again, it's in the same location. If you go to where it's installed, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Warhammer 3, Data, and we're going to scroll down to Data, and we're going to open it. OK, that's opened. Now, right now, you'll notice in game selection here, Warhammer 3 is what, uh, 2 is what I have. Warhammer 3 is not here. The reason for that is because it's not technically able to open most pack files right now. Um, I'm sure they're working on it. But since mod support's not out yet, it's not a surprise that they haven't solved that. OK, but that's OK. We, we can get away with the mods that we need to do. So we're going to scroll down to script. And in script, we have to go to campaign, main chaos, realms, realm common. Now, these are the scripts for the um, main campaign. And we're going to be looking somewhere around the 90s. Here it is. So these are the things that we can do to change kind of the issues that I have, namely that uh, the chaos rifts happen too frequently and that it's it's essentially a race, and you have to be really on top of it. So the first one, and this is what I'm going to change for myself, uh, just because I found with some testing that this was the most stable. So I'm going to do that. And that is the strength required for AI to complete the realm. Basically, this 2 million, whatever that means, is just a point value of an army. And if their army meets that point value, then they will succeed. And obviously, I think it's a little too low in general anyway, because they succeed right away with tier one units. So they're going to keep doing that. So I'm going to just set that up to 9 million so they can't succeed. This will just let me do the rifts when I feel like it, when I'm ready to end the game. Now, the other option you have is to just push the rift uh, cooldown up. So currently, the rift cooldown is 10 turns. So once the rifts uh, have their 15 turns and they close, then there's a cooldown of 10 turns before they reopen. So another way to fix this would just to increase the cooldown from 10 to say like 30 or 50 or something like that. A couple things to note is that you may have issues stability wise. 
uh, if you change this and then try and start like a game that's already in progress. I'm trying to edit a game that's already in progress, so I found that this was kind of the better way to go. Also, you can change what turn the heroes spawn in and when the army spawn in from the Chaos Rift. So basically, this is two turns in, five turns. My guess is if you set the Rift duration to be shorter, you probably want to change this as well, but that's just an assumption. Now, another option you have is somewhere at about 180. And that is, you could set when the first rift opens. So here it's at about turn 30, is when it starts to be a potential. And uh, you could just push this back further. So say you like the pacing of it, but just want it to happen a little later, push it back from 30 to say turn 100 or whatever, and then you'd be set. So once we make the changes we wanna make, in this case, I'm changing this to 9,000. That's the only change I'm making just so that they can't possibly win in there. They have to win by killing me. You will go to pack file and you are going to save the pack file. Now this will take a moment, but the nice thing about this is now we are set to go. We can open it up and run it. As mentioned, this change here with the local strength required works on games that are already in progress. You may find stability issues with other changes. It's just, you know, it's what it is. I wasn't seeing any stability issues with changing the, the strength acquired. So once that has saved, then we are good to go. And um, you can enjoy the game and maybe enjoy the uh, grand campaign a little bit more without having to rush. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps out.